Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn briefly about OCI streaming. We are going to create a stream, a stream pool. Then with the help of REST APIs for OCI streaming, we are going to put a message into a stream and then get a message using REST API. So here is the official documentation by Oracle on OCI streaming. So what is OCI streaming? OCI streaming is a service which provides a fully managed, scalable, durable solution for ingesting and consuming high volume data streams in real time. This could be used for messaging. Producer and consumers can use this streaming as an asynchronous message bus. We can say as similar to publish subscribe pattern what we have in Oracle integration. Producer of the message can push a message to a stream and a consumer of a message can subscribe to that particular stream and pull the message. So this streaming could also be used as an alternative for traditional file scrapping approaches that is to help make critical operational data more quickly available for indexing, analyzing and visualization web, mobile activity data ingestion, infrastructure and apps, event processing. So how does the stream work? As I told, there must be a producer of a message which will produce a message and put that message to a stream and it will go into some partitions. All those things you can learn in detail by going through this documentation. What is a partition? What is offset and all? A consumer will read a message from one or more partitions. Each message within a stream is marked as an, with an offset. So as I told, whenever a message is put into a particular partition in a stream so it will be designated with a offset value based on that this consumer can read the value from that offset value suppose if there is a list and we are putting the value at those indexes so offset is something like this you can consider this list as a partition uh, suppose we put a message at the zeroth index then we can access with offset value zero then one two three streaming concepts as i told we need to create a stream and this stream must be assigned to a particular stream pool then comes the partition this is a section of a stream as i told uh, here we can have a multiple list over here segregate the load and we can even have the higher read and write volumes cursor uh, this will come into effect when we are fetching the data from the stream so pointer is nothing but a location in a stream so it will point to a particular offset value based on tamp there are a few conditions we can offset can point to a particular value in the partition so message a message is always uh, stored as a base 64 uh, content at the time of retrieving we are getting the base 64 value what are the benefits of a stream over other messaging queues configurable message persistence so how long the data must be retained this you can decide okay replay because streams messages are not removed immediately so these these are retained for a particular period of time so we can get the data as long as you want it message guarantees that is each message is guaranteed to be delivered at least once order guarantees messages within a stream per partition are always delivered in the same order that they are produced client set cursor horizontal scale consumer groups all those things you can go over here in detail so what are the limits minimum retention period is 24 hours less than that is not allowed so retention period is a one-time activity it could not be changed after the stream has been created tnc has a default limit of five partitions for a monthly universal credit this could be increased based on a request the number of partitions for a stream cannot be changed after creation of the stream so again this is a one-time activity you have to be very careful for defining the partitions at the time of creating the stream each partition can support a total data right rate of 1 MB per second. There is no limit on the number of put requests. 5 get requests per second is allowed for a per consumer group basis. So maximum size of any single request is 1 MB. A message size is the sum of its key and the messages after they have been decoded from base 64. We are going to discuss on creating a stream and we are directly going to jump into this APIs. I will provide the documentation link in my blog. Please check out my blog for more details. I am here in the Oracle cloud. You have to go to this analytics and AI under analytics and AI there is the option for streaming under messaging select the compartment where you want to create the stream and click on this create stream provide the name for your stream compartment select an existing stream pool uh, if you already have created I have created a couple of stream pools over here I can select anyone if you have not created and if you are creating for the first time then you have to provide the stream pool name public endpoint or a private endpoint this uh, you can select based on your requirement if you are bringing your own keys then upload it to vault and you can refer it over here let oracle manage this retention period this is a one time activity you should be very careful while defining this so default will be 24 and it's not allowing less than that number of partitions just notice this if the partition is one total write rate is 1 MB, total read rate is 2 MB. If I make this as 10, the read and write will increase. Okay, again, it will depend on the quota assigned for your tenancy. Click on create, it will create the stream for you. Once you create a stream, if you go to stream pool, the stream pool uh, will be created for you. On clicking this load message, I'm not able to see the messages, only it will show the last minute messages, only up to 50 messages. What we are going to do is, we are going to make use of this REST APIs, put message and get message REST API. 
So there is this documentation. I will provide the link in the blog. Please check out the link. I've already created the put message REST API in my Postman. So this is the format uh, which is uh, which I got from the documentation. We have to pass the value and the key. Key is nothing but if, if you are passing the duplicate messages, then the stream will merge it or consider it as a, a single message. So, so if you click on this send button, you will get the offset. Offset is nothing but this is the seventh message in that partition zero in that particular retention period if any error encountered while inserting the message or putting the message you will find it over here now since we have inserted we have to get the message so if you go for the documentation of get message you cannot make the call directly you need to have the cursor so in order to get the cursor you need to create a cursor with the help of create cursor api so here is the documentation how you can create the cursor and all so coming to the type you can have after offset at offset if you want to read a message at a particular offset, then you can create a cursor for that. So we will first try to create a cursor for 7th offset value. For that, we are go selecting this offset. This are, we are making as 7. We don't want TAM as of now. We are making those of this at offset here in type. Now click on send. You will get a value. Copy this. You have to create a get message request in your postman. And in the URL, you have to provide this value in the query parameter for cursor. Once done, click on this send. Now, if you see the response, we are getting the key value, key and the value. Value is same what we had sent. So if I show you, let me copy and paste it over here. Yeah, it is the same thing what I had sent. Coming to the cursor, if you want to get the value at a particular time, then that also you could do. Suppose I want to get all the data from 10 o'clock, then I will click on this send and get the cursor and go to my message and put it over here. Now I should get all the messages from 10. If you see my first message was at 11.51, after that I am seeing a lot of messages, nearly 5 messages I give you. Again this time should not be older than the stream created date. If I check over here, my stream was cre created at 9, 9 o'clock 48 minutes. I will go to this cursor and if I change this to 0949, we are getting the value. But if I change this to 48, I won't get a value like this. I will get time is invalid because I cannot create a cursor for a time before the stream was created. Like this, we can make use of those attributes like offset, partition, tam, type and all and we can create a cursor and fetch the appropriate messages from the partition in a particular stream. In, in our next video, we will create OIC integration. In one of the integration, we will push a message to our stream and in another OIC integration, we will try to fetch the same message. Thank you for joining us in this video.